let's get nice and loose before we get started. Let's start off with a little prayer. Uh, dear benevolent one above us, uh, please bless this wine and keep our insides nice and secure. Make sure that they don't get stolen by any ghosts, and make sure that everybody at the end of this episode. Yeah, I don't have any wine. Can you start over the prayer for someone who doesn't? I, sp I specifically emailed all of us so that we could have a glass of wine for the toast earlier. I was. If you're watching right now, please grab a glass and join us in this in this little prayer. How many wine all... open? Well, that's not that's not our problem, Mark, because I had a wine open, and Rob had a wine open. So welcome to Ghost in the Scene, everybody. Thanks, it's it's another it. week. We'll try to get it better next time uh, with everybody coordinated. Hopefully somebody reads their emails before the episode begins. I have a busy schedule. I understand. I understand that. And my busy schedule is wound down with a glass of vino, preferably a red. So let's start off uh, first with Rob Thomas. He has um, some new fashion for everybody, and this is a continuation of what was going on last week with Mark, okay, and his... Nice, uh, nice attempt at, at yes. fashion. Mark, I applaud you for being trendsetters. I think that's what we are. That is our goal here on Ghost in the Scene, to set mm -hmm. the trends. And fashion is a part of many trends. Uh, you kicked us off at the inaugural bandana days. You yes. looked good it's in exactly. the yellow bandana, but... I think our audience deserves something with a little bit more class. I, mean, I think we have a very sophisticated audience. That might be true, but Bill Gates just texted me and said <sighs> that was the most popular hashtag since the Ice Bucket Challenge. So, And that's I mean, wonderful in your for heart, our show. I wish you the best of luck, but can you really outdo bandana days? I don't, I don't know. I think you reeled in the fish, and I'm bringing them home to fry, my friend, because... I would like to introduce the new Ascot Days. Ascot Days. Guys, put it in. Ascot put it in your days. hashtags. It's Hashtag like Bananic Days, but with Ascot. a little bit more class. So you're welcome. Good luck. Yes. Um, I'm getting a, a, an email here, and it's, and it's from uh, Mark, and it's saying it's, Actually spelled A S C O T. Uh, days. So mm, no, no, that's that's not true. Oh, um, I was just I, I like to, to celebrate Ascot Days. Mm. Uh, you use the hashtag Ascot. Uh, Ascot Days. Yes. For the record, you're really good and classy about yourself. Uh, you yeah. end it with an Ascot. I think it looks. I think it looks really good. Honestly, enjoying a white. A glass of white wine, hashtag Ascot. That's right. And I'm, I'm, I'm not promoting any, anything yet. Next week will be my, my turn. But I will be promoting it, as always, with a red. Because I feel like it is bold, just like my personality, and it reflects who I am on the inside. So I want to just appreciate and have everybody, if you like and subscribe and share, just for the fact that Rob Thomas is bringing something new to this world and to the fashion world, I'd appreciate that. But I think we have some bigger fish to fry, guys. There has been an uh, internet rumor that's been going around, and it's all about how celebrities die with white lighters in their hand, the Bic lighters, right? I, I brought one. So, oh, be I careful. Thank you, thank you. I, um, luckily, I just drank that blessed wine, so I'm feeling very warm, and I'm feeling very resistant to uh, the negativity. Don't that is just die radiating from this this bic right here if you can see there is a little man as a logo right if you guys can see that if, if the audience can see that i will i will show you a, a large an enlarged photo in a little while but I'll, i'm gonna put this down it is my belief my personal belief that these lighters are all connected by that logo and it is those lighters that are killing the celebrities and honestly who knows how many other people have died with big lighters in their pockets okay not this even this is a public safety issue everyone i see people walking around the streets with these dangerous items uh, get rid of them throw them away throw them away absolutely throw them out so 
this lighter is a very old. It, it has been around for at least 44 years, okay? Now, 4-4, four, four, they're matching, okay? Yes. That's 2-2 two and 2-2 two and 2-2. Two and two. It is, I mean, the numbers, they don't add up, okay? 1973 is when this, this lighter, this type of lighter was released with this logo of a, of, of a man, of a spooky, scary man right on top. Now, if you look closely, you will see there is no features on this man's face. And he is holding some kind of knife, okay? And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean when I show you. Here we go. Get ready, guys, because this is going to be a little bit scary. Okay. Oh, my God. Whoa. The faceless man stands there. Yeah. <sighs> background of yellow and it looks to be a giant knife a pointed spear behind the back that he's hiding i'm so Take sorry the picture down i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so very, sorry very scary it felt like someone was stabbing me in my back oh my gosh okay, okay. this I'm is sorry. what happens when there's you don't have protection ladies and gentlemen so please if you're watching right now mm -hmm. be prepared Yes, absolutely. Put know, on. Don't put stop here. watching. And honestly, Rob, if I can just quickly just critique critique your wine choice, you chose a white, my friend, and everybody knows that whites just aren't as powerful as reds. You need to have a red, and it reminds it reminds the ghosts that there is blood, and they don't like mm. that they don't have blood. So it's it's an envious thing. So uh, if I just want to throw this out here too, uh, newsflash. Drinking's bad for you, okay? If you're pregnant, you shouldn't even be drinking. And it's okay. bad. That's true. And if you drink too much, you're an alcoholic, which is a bad person. So Of course, but it has the properties to shield you against ghosts. So it should be yes. taken in only the most serious circumstances, like the moment right now. Yeah, if okay. Influ being influenced by powerful forces, it needs to be counteracted. But you're right. This is powerful powerful stuff you got to uh, tell me this mark if you're if you're going to justify your position why does the pope drink wine why does the pope drink wine mm -hmm. why does the pope drink wine mark it's an outdated religion i don't support catholicism there you, there you go Nor again. do i support alcohol i'm not gonna sit here and wear some alcohol shirt i won't do that everyone not, knows yeah. the pope drinks wine and poops in the woods I mean, I think we should. That's be just saying, a fact. So you need to follow mm -hmm. what the Pope does. I think we should you drink be saying, the wine and guys, in the woods. Drink more water. It's hot out. Hey guys, Absolutely. jogging's really healthy. Hey, make sure you eat your fruits and vegetables. I thought you said you didn't like more. religion. Okay, this is a that this is a religion like of a the religion body. To me. <sighs> yeah, we're trying. We're we're examples here. This is what the kids are watching. On their mobile oh. devices, and you, you're telling the kids today to drink, to drink wine. Um, if you're a child and you're watching this with your parents' consent, I fully understand if you oh. need to drink wine to protect yourself from ghosts. Mark, Mark, this is about their life. This isn't about, about them being bad people or good people. This is about being alive people, okay? Law. You need to keep the children alive. Fine. It's like rule number one. I'm going to forward this to the deputy internet sergeant, and he takes underage drinking pretty seriously. So you're just going to have, have to answer to the deputy internet sergeant, and we'll see what happens. But I just I can't go to bed at night knowing that my colleagues are promoting underage drinking. Yeah, Mark. Underage Mark. sexual activity with their their fancy blazers. I mean, no, I, no, Mark, I don't feel good about this. This isn't We're right. We're trying Mark. to show that there is children know not to play with lighters, but we need to show them why. Exactly. Okay? And because to have the lighters, we need to be protected from them. That's why we drink the wine. What's That's what's why more we important? wear the coats. What's more important, Mark? Um, lighting your house on fire with this little guy. Mm -hmm. Or taking a little sip of wine for fun. They're both bad. Yes. 
They are. Two wrongs it's a bad thing. make a right. But one glass of wine a day keeps the doctor away. And right. my doctor told me that because I wouldn't leave him alone. So I link these videos to lots of parenting blogs like whatshouldmommydo.com, poopydiaper.biz. Um, and if I'm a parent and I'm watching these and I'm expecting my kid to learn about how it's not safe to play a fire and I got you two goombas just talking about wine. Goombas? 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 Not helpful. You know what? You know what's not helpful, Mark? What's not helpful is that somehow you derailed this conversation into a, a anti-wine commercial. Okay, you're working for for the big anti-wine. You know who knows Ooh. hedge fund. Okay, Mr. Hedge Fund. But Ooh. but guess what? There's a real menace happening, and I'm gonna put them right there. There's a real menace. Okay, well, stick to the facts. Look, that stabbed me in the back. You saw that. That is empirical evidence, Mark. How can you deny that? These Have I been stabbed lighter. once while drinking this wine? Never. No. I'm fine. Yeah. Well, maybe it's because you got you have a, a a worse internet connection and the ghosts aren't getting through. But just because you have the privilege of having a bad ghost internet connection doesn't mean that they can't attack people out there. And this thing, this thing that I'm holding in my hand, this thing that I would I would be dead if it weren't for the red wine that I just drank. This thing has a history, and it all starts in 1973 at the August Jam in Charlotte, North Carolina. Real okay, quick, guys. seven minus three is four. It was 44 years ago. So now we have three fours in a row. Absolutely. And we know how the power of threes, like the sixes that are three in a row. I won't say it out loud. Yes. Because of the bick in the room. But four, four, four is a powerful number. Exactly. Four, four, four is only two, two, two less than the other the one. Other. Hey, Rob. What's 444 plus 222? It's a bigger number. Bigger number? You almost got him, but you didn't get him, okay? <laughs> and I would appreciate it if you wouldn't help the ghosts out, okay? And here is the last four that I think we, 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 we needed, okay? This is, um, this is okay, I, I'm going to share this with you guys just so you can see. Here we go. You see that? Janis Joplin, what, what, when she died? October 4th, 1970. So okay. that's before. Now, but what? August, August Jam was August 10th, 1974. Four years later. A year, one, four years later and one year after. The All those fours do make me a opened. little uncomfortable. Hmm. I know. I know. And it makes me uncomfortable. So, working with this, working with the August Jam, working with Janis Joplin being murdered before the August Jam started, I believe that the August Jam was some kind of satanic bick conjuring, okay? This logo got stronger after this and started killing more and more celebrities. But before that, it killed two, okay? It killed Janis Joplin and it killed Jimi Hendrix. Oh, my God. Okay. What about Bing Crosby? People have said that they found a big lighter in Bing Crosby's dead body. I don't believe it, and nobody can make me believe it. Okay, unless I find photographic evidence, I don't believe it. Okay, so let's just get down to brass tacks here. If you have a big lighter in your house, if you have a big lighter um, in your car, even if it's empty. Oh, wow. Throw it away. Throw it in the garbage, okay? Go to go to your local 99-cent store and get a 12-pack of those clear ones that, that break apart easy in your, in your thumb because those ones don't have a satanic logo on, on, the, on the cover, okay? They don't have an evil man with no face who's just staring at you with a giant machete spear behind his back. He'll stab you first chance he gets. And consult your doctor... If, it, if, if, if you think that you want to start drinking wine, just ask him for the healthy sake because I think Mark makes actually a really good point that, that drinking is not good for you. And, and, it's, and, it's, and you know what? It's this, it's this god dang life that we live that we have, to, we have to hurt ourselves to protect ourselves. And I wish this weren't the case, Mark. That's good. I'm glad you admit it. 
But I but I hope you understand why we have to do it. No. Mark, it's like a double edged bick. <laughs> a double so two lighters. Mm hmm You exactly. have to burn it at both ends. That's that would be really cool. And and sometimes you have to throw the rule book out the window to to solve the problem. Okay. You know so, what you could do with that wine? Hmm. So you take your bic lighter in a mm -hmm. rag, light the rag on fire, put it in the wine, throw it over at WB Studios. He's okay. We're, we're, Mark is. We're, we're, we're going to stop. We're going to stop it right there. We do not advocate anyone to stop it right there. Uh, you don't bottle top cocktail with wine, right. first of all. To anybody, anywhere. Second of no all. No matter who they're working with. The WB is Studios okay. is is a very famous studios. If you want to hit Warner Brothers, you gotta you gotta call them by their name, or else you you give them power. So call it by its name next time, Mark. Grassroots. Have have some have some balls and call them by their name. Don't call them the WB. The WB. Warner. Warner's Brothers. Warner's Brothers. So. Until next week, we will we will finish this uh, investigation on on the Bic controversy, and we will get down to I will consult with the doctor to see whether or not wine is actually good for you. And uh, of course, next week I will be debuting my look, not Bandana Days, not Ascot Days. It's going to be something else. But until then, hashtag Ascot Days. If you're showing your support. For Rob and his beautiful look that he came up with himself. You look classy. Very classy. You look great. And protect it. Thank you. I'm and I, I'm, I'm barely noticing that it is protecting your, your throat, which is a, a place that a lot of vampires like to get to. He probably has a lot of hickeys. Mm. You know, we've been having a lot of talk about Johnny Depp. It's been making me very nervous about yes. upsetting the vampire community. Um, I don't mean it to be an attack on the entire community. Uh, just Johnny Depp. Uh, I think he needs to own up for what he's doing. Absolutely. And we will get to that another day. Hopefully Johnny Depp will confess to all of his many wrongdoings. But until next time, you stay in the scene. Stay in the scene, stay extreme. Keep your eyes on the screen. <laughs>